Welcome to Rad Recaps. For today's video, we will be doing a recap of a Korean comedy movie, Miss Granny. Sit tight and relax for a fun and exciting ride. Let's get started. The movie started with our main character, Oh Mal Soon, is working in an elderly cafe with her co-worker and boyfriend, Mr. Park, who is the same age as her. Suddenly, a lavish old lady came walking inside the cafe, flaunting her rich lifestyle to the poor Mal Soon and flirting with Mr. Park. As this old, lavish lady continued to bicker with Mal Soon, Mal Soon suddenly picked a fight with her, and Mr. Park got punched right in the face. As Mr. Park got home, she was scolded by her daughter that he was always getting in trouble because of Mal Soon. Suddenly, Mal Soon came to check on Mr. Park, but abruptly left when she got irritated by Mr. Park's daughter. And Mr. Park hurriedly chased her with his motorcycle. Meanwhile, a producer named Han Sung Woo was frustrated because all of his young talents didn't have what it takes to sing, and all they cared about was their looks. His assistant suggested that these youngsters just lip sync the older star's songs. After that, Mao Soon was scolding her daughter about her cooking. His grandson, Ban Ji Ha, appeared and said that he was going to audition with his band, and his mother hastily scolded him, saying that he needed to focus more on his education than on his singing career. But Mao Soon interrupted her and instead gave her grandson his pocket money and let him off the hook. Her daughter told her that she could at least let her handle the education of her children, but Mal Soon disagreed. Her daughter was seen right after taking medicine while talking to her husband. Jin Ha was having a rehearsal with his band when he got into a confrontation with the lead vocalist because the lead was off tune. Meanwhile, Mal Soon went out to go shopping. But as soon as she got home, she discovered that her daughter-in-law had fainted, and they rushed her to the hospital. The doctor said that she was depressed and fainted due to stress, and that Mal Soon was the main reason for it. Back at home, the two grandkids of Mal Soon were arguing about whether they should get Mal Soon to a retirement home. But Mal Soon heard this and went straight to her room. After that, they went out, and they said to Mal Soon that she couldn't go home until I just health improved. She went to the coffee shop and was greeted by a woman, saying that she stole a recipe from a restaurant, causing them to lose a lot of money. She attacked Malsoon and slapped her repeatedly. Malsoon's life is getting worse. She cried at the bus station when her grandson called her and invited her to eat dinner. On her way, she stopped by a photo studio to take a portrait of herself. The photographer promised her to make her 50 years younger. And what is this? As soon as she left the studio, she became 50 years younger? Her wrinkles and old face are gone. She looks like she's in her mid-twenties. She was shocked when she saw her reflection in the glass and went straight to a pharmacy to request medication, as she thought she was going insane. She immediately went to her promised dinner with her grandson, but she couldn't face him when she was looking like this. She went back to the photo studio instead, but to her surprise, the photo studio wasn't there. The photo studio is gone. The morning after, her son was trying to find her because she hadn't come home. Meanwhile, Mal Soon, in her younger body, doesn't feel any signs of aging anymore, and she accepts the fact that she is younger now. Because her haircut and her dress are now not suitable for her, she gets her haircut and dresses like a young woman. She went back to Mr. Park's house looking for a place to stay, and Mr. Park didn't even recognize her because she is now in her 20s, and she boarded the place next to Mr. Park. After that, she went to her son's house and left a note saying that she would not come home for a long time. She went back to the coffee shop. She went to work. She started singing on stage. Mal Soon is quite good at singing and the producer, who happens to be in the area, took notice and was in awe of her singing. She continued singing as a crowd piled up on the shop, and after she had done, the crowd roared in applause. The producer and her grandson, who happens to be in the shop, came looking for her, but she ran away. She went home to Mr. Park's apartment and watched her favorite drama with Mr. Park, and suddenly, his grandson stopped by, saying that he wanted to talk to her. 
His grandson invited her to drink, and she invited him to be the lead vocalist of his band. She thought for one second that her grandson liked her. She accepted being the lead vocalist and started the very next day. Meanwhile, the producer can't forget about Malsoon, who he heard singing and wanted to work for him as an artist. The day after, her grandson took him to the band practice, and she was shocked by their genre. It was heavy metal, and she got angry at how aggressive they sang. She started singing, and their genres weren't compatible. But they were able to mash up the two genres and work it perfectly. They performed in an open area and gathered hundreds of fans to watch them sing. They celebrated, and they started singing in bigger clubs. They are rising quickly. One day, Malsoon was on her way home. And while she was scolding some random mom on the train, and after she got off the train, the producer stalked her. But she caught him. He asked Malsoon for dinner, but she declined, and he accidentally ripped the sleeves of her shirt and got apprehended by the police. Things escalated quickly. The next morning, Malsoon's grandson came to pick her up and bring her to their house, Malsoon's old home. Meanwhile, the police and Malsoon's son were investigating a woman who was withdrawing from their debit card, and Malsoon's parasol was seen while she withdrew the money. Will she get into trouble? Let's find out. The next morning, Mr. Park is already suspicious of the younger Malsoon, as he saw the parasol and the old things of Malsoon in her belongings. Meanwhile, Malsoon and her band auditioned for the show that the producer, Sung Woo, is producing. What a coincidence! They were easily accepted by the producer to do the TV show. But when Malsoon got home, the lights were all gone and her dentures were hanging. And Mr. Park tried to swing a bat on her back, but he got knocked down and tied by Malsoon. A younger body is definitely stronger. Mr. Park accused the younger Malsoon of killing the real Malsoon. Malsoon told Mr. Park the truth and he recognized her based on his memories of their childhood. Now that Mr. Park knew the truth, they went to the shop once more and talked about how she became younger. She asked Mr. Park to tell his son and his daughter-in-law that she would come back when the time was right. Now, Malsoon is starting to sing for the TV show produced by Sung Woo, and she's singing in front of hundreds of fans. And as she sang, she remembered all the hardships she had gone through to raise her son. After the successful performance, they went to a pool resort to celebrate with Mr. Park and the producer tagging along. They were swimming in a wave pool when suddenly a large wave hit Malsoon and the producer picked her up as she couldn't get up. They went for a drink when suddenly Malsoon had a small cut in her foot. As they went home, it was revealed that when a part of Malsoon bleeds, that part will go back to being old. But as Mr. Park was treating her wounds, her daughter barged in and furiously kicked out Malsoon in their house. As the age gap between her and Mr. Park was outrageous, Malsoon went out and left Mr. Park's home. Mr. Park tried to tell Malsoon's son the truth, but he didn't believe him, saying that he was insane and had lost his mind. Malsoon had no place to stay, so she asked producer Song Wu to temporarily stay over. They talked about each other's lives while drinking wine. Producer Song Wu passed out drinking while Malsoon sang her a song. The next day, Malsoon continued practicing with the band when the producer, Song Wu, noticed that the song was not quite compatible with their next song. Ji Ha confronted him, telling him what was wrong with their song. Ji Ha exited the building, and Malsoon chased him. Malsoon told Ji Ha that he heard that he slept with the producer, and Malsoon got angry with her grandson and beat him up. They went to eat right after, and Ji Ha appears to like his own grandmother in her younger state. Malsoon just told her grandson that he isn't her type. Meanwhile, at the old house of Malsoon, Malsoon's son, Hyun Chul, saw the band picture of his son and noticed that the face of their vocalist, Malsoon, is quite familiar, as she resembles her mother a lot in the past. Malsoon and the band continued practicing and producer Sung Woo invited her to lunch. Sung Woo gave her a hairpin and said that she looked pretty as he kissed her on the forehead. Malsoon is quite surprised. 
Soon, the band is now preparing for their next big TV show. But her grandson, Jia, was running late and decided to bike on the way to the venue. They watched as the biggest names in the industry were also preparing to perform at the live TV event. As Jia was hurriedly riding his bicycle, he got hit by a truck. Is Jia okay? Is he still alive? Let's find out. Mal soon found out what happened and decided to continue the show and dedicate it to his grandson, Jia, who composed their songs. Mal soon performed with the rest of the band and gave her absolute best for Jia, who was rushed to the hospital. Mal soon is rushed to the hospital, where it is revealed that his grandson, Jia, needs blood in order to survive. And his grandmother is the only one who has the same blood type as her grandson. But if she does that, she will give up being young. But she insisted that her grandson's life is more important than her being young. Her son, Hyun Chul, talked to her about his story of how his mother saved his life and that he already knew that she was indeed her mother. She told him that she loves him very much and she wouldn't change anything even if she was born again. She hugged her son as she proceeded to donate blood for her grandson. She looked at producer Sung Woo one last time. She considered it a fun dream as she had gone back to her older self. A year later, Jia's band is still performing at live shows, but with a different lead singer. And Mal Soon was happily watching in the crowd. The next day, Mal Soon was about to meet Mr. Park on a date, but Mr. Park's appearance suddenly turned into a young, good-looking guy. And this is where the movie ends. What a fun and exciting movie! Wow! Have you enjoyed the video? Leave a comment down below if you liked this video. If this movie piqued your interest, you can watch it in the links down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching Red Recaps. See you in the next video.